انا هلا في الكوليج في المعهد بدل ما استغل الفرصه وادرس بس عم استغل الفرصه وبسوي مونتاج وبشترك الدراسه مع جنب <تصفيق> سبحان الله يا اخي اليوتيوب سبحان الله شا... شغلنا الموضوع كلياته شوف فيا شباب يلي عاجبوا المحتوى فيا ريت تشتركوا معي بالقناه <تصفيق> هذا الفيديو يا أصدقاء راح يكون استثنائي على هذه القناة ولكن هذا النوع من الفيديوهات وأنواع كثيرة إن شاء الله أخرى تتعلق في الدراسة راح ننزلهم على قناة الثانية فيلي مهتم بهيك نوع من الفيديوهات يبقى لازم تشترك معي بالقناة الثانية مسميها طاهر فلوك راح حط الرابط في الوصف وأيضا راح تلاقيه في أول تعليق <تصفيق> So you need to have crushed it to the point that it's liquidy enough for that to happen. Yeah, if you have How many drops? As a question, how many drops you did? I think that's enough. Oh, drinking that's enough? 
Ask Mark. They come later to Mark, Mark. Mark. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, okay. is this enough? That's far too much. Really? That's way too much. I change it? Yeah, that's way too much. Get a different paper. It's just a drop. It's a little, a little circle that you're doing. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's, fine. that's okay. Like, like something like this, just a little small circle. Okay. I still have some. Yeah, you've gone mad with it. Are you finished with it? Yeah. You want the Zuki blaster? Yeah. Okay, so at least... Now you just do one more thing. Wait, then you're doing it. You're just doing one more thing. Okay. What you can do is you can leave the oven right there and you can let this dry. And you can have a couple of people that will be fine. So when you're working, you put it on. So let it dry first. Yeah. Do you have a history crack for this? Okay, 
So you're gonna kill him or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's shady. 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 So how, how many drops are there? It says in the thing, six. But I'll them all. That makes as many as you can. That makes any sense. Like, I'll put them all. So, how many? 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 I think I might just stop I mean, it for it. Just I think as many as you can, because you want to build it up like that way. Uh, that way, that way. That way, that way. Yeah, no. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, 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 Oh, that's okay. We also have more reds and purples, we'll have more yellows, greens, and oranges. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the color goes inside that. Yeah. That's a طبعا هذه بعد نص ساعة بعد ما رجعنا من البريك رجعنا من الاستراحة لك وين صارت لعندي طلعت من فوق لهون هذا الشباب So wait, how do you tell? Do you just measure where your line is or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In centimeters? Yeah, yeah. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 9.9. 
It looks, it looks like just above your HS, that there's a line just there. I'm assuming that's about... Well, I, I think I'm going to get also it. Works, so I'm going to see how long it takes for it. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I think it's where that bend is too. Yeah, where that bend is. That's really as far as anything could have travelled because that's the solvent. Hopefully then you also have a sample that has ran a certain distance as well. Even better, you have more than one pigment that's come up, but if you've only got one, then that, that's fine, that's all we have as our result. Uh, and it's going to be one of your chlorophylls that's going to be the green that you're then seeing essentially. And what you do then, to measure your pigment, if you measure from that same X to the furthest up point that the sample runs, that you can see, okay? So quite often you might notice that actually this fills with colour the whole way. So you bring you bring up to the top of where that sample is, and that's your measuring your distance. Okay. So for example, let's say that my solvent distance was 9.6 centimetres. I had a pigment that ran 7.2 centimetres. So I have measured that for that sample. So the big man is. In your table, you have got space for putting in information for green, for yellow, for red. If you can't see a yellow or a red then you have, no, you have no information put in there, that's fine. You don't have to write something. That is the result you got, okay? There's no, no point in lying about it, that's the result you got. But if you've got a green line that you can measure, then great, you can put that in. So, so see where it says pigment, do you just write how far it went up on the top row where it says pigment? So what's below that then? Like, you know, there's this big... So wait, this is for your RF value, that's a calculation we're going to do. Okay. So you're just writing the result in there. I would hope that people can see at least a green and then maybe even a yellow. So how do we close look and see if there's any yellow colour that you can see in the Then it's about something. So your line is that line there, yeah? And then I think that we've got a darker thing right there. And then we're going Yeah, that looks like the darker one kind of ends there, and then your yellowy ones are somewhere near the top there. That's a calculation to do it, So there's our point where it's a bit darker. And then It's a bit easier than that one, isn't it? And then you've got a lighter one that goes there. Okay. Yeah, so you're solving my like, machine, so it's in the middle of the top there. Okay? So that's your solving line. There's no one. So that way you're solving my machine. Darker pigment towards the end. Would you not think that's red? Yeah, the bottom. Okay. I think the top of that would be considered red. Sure. That's what I would have put. Because mine went up further, but I mean, I feel like it went further. If you ask him, I would have called it that. Then I, then I need to read this. Okay. Red is. I can see my scaly ass skin. I don't know if it's a very green What's that tangerine skin? Do you have a rubber here? I don't have a rubber here. Are you trying to do the sun? I think it's pretty simple. I think it'll be simple now. So I'll just put it off and put it off. I calculate RF equals DS over DF. DF yeah, distance of it travels in the original dot. Distance of the diamond travels in the original dot. The solvent. It's the how far the solvent travelled. 
Imagine the distance of the whole mm-hmm. So it's the, it's the map is the solvent over the pigment. No, it's divided. It's over. So the distance. So is this the F? The F is the distance. So that's your big number here. That, that's the one. Uh-huh. Yeah, from the X, from the. Yeah, and then. D S. So I'm gonna write it here. Alright, uh, so D F is eleven point five and your D S is the distance ish pigment from uh, the ish one. Yeah. So it's the right, distance okay. of the solvent is so six of it is over eleven point five. Okay, so that's for your solvent line is sorry. Yeah, I figured that out. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you're right, absolutely. Yeah. That's right. So that's your solvent line, yeah? I would have said the right. That's where the solvent line is. Because it means over, so it would be your DS, which is each pigment. So it might be 3 centimetres or 3.9. So at the end of the dark section, there's like a darker section to it, and then we'll have light a bit. So there. Don't write that. Don't take that. It's not that it would be yellow, but the yellow works. Like the second solvent is like your yellow pigment, essentially. One, two, two. So in your table, in your table that you've got, you've got sections for putting information about your green, your yellow, and your red, and all you're writing in there is whatever the distance is that you manage to measure for each of those pigments. So for the green one, for example, say my example at about seven point two, and then my yellow one has to be. No, you're just making the separation. It should be that way, but all you're doing is just trying to separate. So if you know it's like green after, then by all means, like you measure that as a result. In fact, sometimes it's like green because it's like yellow, so actually you might want to see that as your yellow analysis. So you're going to have a value right in for your green, where your dark green ends, and then where it's lighter green, essentially your yellow one, you're going to write in a value too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I think your dark could be in somewhere about there. I think it's hard to tell because obviously it's obviously but I think somewhere about there your dark ends and then it's going to be on there. Yeah. Uh, is this, I measure this as a red? Um, that looks like it's just the energy levels of the spot and it's not actually had a capillary reaction happening to it, so I wouldn't take that as your red analysis. Uh, so I think you just have a yellow and a green that you would get for yours. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I, I so for red, you just say. So I don't think I that. Was that sitting quite a lot in the fluid? It looks like that's almost like. I'm honestly not sure. My fluid's not changed colour much. So, okay, yeah. Let's take it as a red line then. Take the red line. Okay. Can I put this in the bin now? Because I've done the math, so I'm just going to keep it. Want to keep it? I mean, I'm just, I'm just asking because it's. No, if, you, if you've it's, got your results, you don't need to. You don't need to I'd rather not get pulled up by the techie for that smell my alcohol. So. I will. Why are you getting stoked by the polos and all? Why don't I smell alcohol on you? I'm just getting an experiment. You don't like to smell like alcohol. There's no law against smelling like alcohol, is there? No, but they can, sus- they can suspect you're under the influence and then they can get red. And then you say, can you then please test my friend? Oh, that takes the so much time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.